guys so in this video let's discuss about this problem single number 2 given a non empty array of integers every element appears three times except for one which appears exactly once find that single one note your algorithm should have a linear runtime complexity and could you implement it without using any extra memory so let us consider some example first so in the first example two is present three times and three is present uniquely so we have done three in the second example, 0 and 1 are present 3 times and 99 is a unique element, so we have done 99. So now let us see how we can solve this problem. So over here, I have taken an example. So in this example, if you see carefully, number 1, 2 and 4, these are present 3 times. And the number 3 is actually unique. So somehow we have to return this number 3. Correct. Over here, I have represented these numbers in their binary format. Now this number 1 is actually present 3 times. This number 2 is present 3 times, 3 is present only 1 and 4 is present 3 times. Now what I want to do is, I want to sum the 0th bit for all the numbers. And similarly I want to sum all the 1th bit and all the 2th bit. So let us do this thing. So for 1, this is 1, so it is present 3 times, so the contribution is going to be equal to 3. From here the contribution is 0, from here this is 1 and it is present only 1 time, so this is 1 into 1 which is 1. Again, this is 0, so we will get 3 from here and 1 from here, so the total is going to be 4. For the 1th bit, you can see that this is 1 over here and since it is present 3 times, so we will get a contribution of 3 from there. And it is 1 again, so it is present only 1 time, so it, the contribution is 1. And from here it is 0, so it is 3 plus 1, which is again 4. For the second bit, these all are 0 and only 1 is there, so it is present 3 times, so the contribution is going to be 3. Now one important point over here is these sums that is sum of 0th bit or sum of 1th bit or the sum of 2th bit or so on these sums are actually going to be of the format of 3n or 3n plus 1 why i am saying that 3n or 3n plus 1 see if we are getting a 1 in a number which is present 3 times so we are getting a contribution of 3 correct so we will always get the contribution in the multiples of 3 from the numbers which are present 3 times. Only the number which is present 1 time in case it is contributing, in that case only we are getting this 3n plus 1. Right? Because from all the other numbers we are getting a contribution of 3. So it's going to be equal to 3n. Correct? So in case the particular bit is set in the unique number, we are getting it in the format of 3n plus 1. So what do I mean to say is that if I do this thing, then I will be able to know which bit is set in my unique number and which bit is not set in my unique number. So basically in case the sum is equivalent to 3n plus 1 of the format of 3n plus 1 we can say that this ith bit is set in my unique number and in case it is of the format of 3n I will be able to say that this ith bit is not set in my unique number. Now why is this information important? See the unique number is 3 in this case. If for 3 I know that this is the set bit, this is the set bit and this is the unset bit. Won't I be able to convert this thing into 3? I will be able to write. So that's why this information is important. Now the second question over here is how will be how I will be able to check for a given number n whether the ith bit is set or not. See for here, if you see for I was checking for the second bit for like for the number 4. So over here the number is represented in the binary format, so we can simply check it. But normally it will be present in the format of decimal. So how will I check whether the second bit in 4 is set or not? So actually there is a standard technique to solve this problem. So let me just show you this thing. So in case let us consider num a number given to you which is something like 21. So 21 in the binary format would be something like 1 0 1 0 1. This is the 0th bit, 1st bit, 2nd bit, 3rd bit and 4th bit. So in case I have to check for this suppose I have to check for this 1th bit whether this bit is set or not. What I will do is I will create a mask. So this mask value is actually 1 left shift i. This i stands for the ith bit. So in case I have to check for this 1th bit, this will be equals to 1 left shift 1 which is equals to 1 0. Correct. So let us take an end of n and mask. So n will be something like 1 0 1 0 1 and mask is 1 0 and over here all zeros. So if you see, if I'm taking an end of these two numbers for end these, all these things and all this thing is going to be zero because 
in mask it is zero for and to be one for a particular bit to be one both the bits should be one so actually the dependency is only over here so in case this is zero we are going to get a zero and in case it is a one we are going to get not equals to zero or we can say greater than zero so we can say that in case and and mask in case this value is equal to zero we can say that the current bit the ith bit in n is actually zero and otherwise it is one so this is how we check for the ith bit in a given number n so let's do now let me add the code for this question and then things will be more clear okay so now we will create a variable called result which will be initially zero and we will have two more variables that is sum and mask now since there are 32 bits i'll iterate over each of the bit so for int i equals zero i less than 32 i plus plus so the current mask is going to be equals to one left shift i and the sum is equals to zero now i'll iterate over the nums that are given to us so for int n in nums what I will do is in case and and mask in case this value and and mask in case this is not equals to zero. I know that this current bit this current bit I is not set in the number n. So we'll simply increment sum by one. Correct. And finally after this loop is over we'll check in case this sum is not a multiple of three in case this is not equals to zero so in that case what we will do is we know that this current bit is actually set in my unique number so what i will do is i will simply say result or equals mask correct so after this is over we will simply return the result so let me just submit this code and it got accepted so i guess that's it from this video in case you have learned anything from the video you can hit that like button and in order to support my work you may consider subscribing to my channel Thank